Stanford University. In the late 60s, NASA created an arts program and invited a series of artists to come and document the launch of Apollo 11, the first mission to the moon. Robert Rauschenberg was one of those artists who was invited to come spend some time down in Florida and then create some work. And the idea behind the NASA project was really to kind of make the moon mission and the NASA program more accessible, make it less about science and more about culture and excitement. Rauschenberg didn't take a single picture, but instead asked NASA to send him all sorts of materials in the wake of that. And the agency, in response, sent Rauschenberg promotional photographs, scientific documentation, maps of Florida, tourism board information. And Rauschenberg then mulched all of this. He sort of remixed it in a way. And the result of this, which is the project's known as Stone Moon, is a complete departure from the very crisp aesthetic that NASA had at the time. Trust Zone, I think, is a great example. You see the outline of an astronaut suit, and then you look at it more closely, and you realize that it's just an entirely technical schematic of the entire suit. But then this is, in turn, juxtaposed over a map of the NASA facilities in Florida. These two elements are then sort of grounded in a very sort of sepia-washed photographic reproduction of the Wright brothers at Kitty Hawk. This is a really narrowed focus onto one small moment of his career. For us to be able to put every part of that moment together, the stone moon collages that were meant to be a book, the prints that are really colorful, and then the archival materials that tell us a little bit about what Rauschenberg's experience was, I think you're getting in this one gallery this really tight moment where you understand this great artist and this moment in his life in a really different way. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.